Yes. Um, yeah. Why do you think you came out so soon? You had mentioned when Ibuka asked you to see that yes. you were not surprised. Yes. Uh, but what do you now that you've you've probably seen you know one or two things? Yeah. Why do you think you, you got out you know so quickly? So um, in as much as we were um, voted out mm -hmm. by the audience, and then the power was given to. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. The power was also given to the housemates to vote um, their fellow housemates out. So when the power was given to the housemates to vote out, I wasn't surprised anymore. That I saw it coming, basically. So. You saw it coming. Why? Um, <laughs> I don't like to say this thing or talk about these yeah. things because it is coming off like people are saying that I am blaming Dami and honestly I am not blaming Dami. Mm -hmm. I have never blamed her since we got out of there. So I told her oh I do not blame you for mm -hmm. anything that happened. But given the circumstances of everything and the things that happened in the house and the issues that she had had with like housemates, I just saw it coming. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What about you Dami? What do you think is the reason that you're out now? Um... It's um, definitely what had happened, obviously. So, um, but the, the surprising thing was the viewers. So, uh, I, I'm still trying to like get the hang of it or of why yeah. we were not, um, you know, voted in the house. You know, why we were put up for eviction. So, yeah. it's still I'm still trying to like get a hang of it to see what exactly went wrong outside the house. Yeah. Do you understand? I, I'm still trying to figure it out. But inside the house for with um the power that was that, given yeah. to the housemates. So um that one that one was uh, I saw it coming obviously. We both yeah. saw it coming. Was it because you had misunderstanding? I want to believe you didn't so. connect with I, want them to, I want to believe so. I mean there was no much connection with some people in the house and um you know, I think that also, Cause, yeah. Could have I mean, there were so many things we were surprised. Even when you had been at the bottom, yeah. you know, regardless of whether you like her or not, she yeah. gave contents that first yeah. week. Yeah. So yes, I didn't, did. you know. But then with this show, I've also seen that the first week is always people are still kind of relaxed. Yeah, you know, some people are not it's, voting. Yes, for it's some people, their team is still trying to figure out. Yeah, you know. so I never really judge with the first week. Yes. It's just just pray you're not. Exactly. You know, yeah. a victim. I mean, no, nobody saw this eviction yeah. I mean, at the all. first week. At all. It's always like two weeks after. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let, let, let's move on from that. Let's talk about your time in the house. Reflecting on your time in the house, how would you say, you know, was your overall experience and what was the biggest surprise for you? I'm going to start with Dami. Yeah. <clears throat> Overall experience. Yeah. Um, I think I'm grateful that I could experience the fact that um, being in, in the same space with different personalities, mm -hmm. that was like one of the most challenging things, but I, I got to experience that. And um, just meeting new set of people is refreshing, regardless of what had happened, mm -hmm. you know, and um, just learning, learning to read people. Because in the house, you have to be able to try as much as possible to read people yeah do you understand to know what they're actually doing it might be hard but you have to try as much as possible to do that and um it was fun it was educating i mean some people are quite intelligent in the house you know and um interacting with them is is quite a high thing for me okay what about you for me, um, I actually enjoyed my time in the house because I had the opportunity to connect with a lot of housemates. Mm -hmm. I connected with them, like like more than half of them, I did connect with them. I had conversations with them. So most of them, I knew their stories and everything. So for me, it was a great experience. I, I, I enjoyed myself in the house for the time being, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Um, you guys, I think I read about it or you guys spoke about it. You've been best friends for eight years. Am I correct? Seven years. Seven, Seven years. years. Okay. Years. So who, who brought up the idea initially to go into the house? Was it Dami or Toyosi? Toyosi. It was you? Yes. <laughs> 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 so you reached out to Dami. Yeah. Um, okay. And, um... Did she agree instantly? Yes, almost immediately. Yes. Almost immediately. Yes. Are you <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but how would you describe your, your friendship? Seven years is a lot. And also, <clears throat> first of all, answer the question. How would you describe your friendship? How did we? How would you describe your friendship? Um, I think it's beautiful. We have like a very good bond regardless. And um, it's just amazing. You know, we, we started, you know... Um, 
this friendship th- through um, media. No, we were both yeah. in the media space in 2017 yeah. when we met, and um, you know, starting off with that kind of you know um, bond, yeah. I, I think um, it really helped us with um, growing the friendship. And I think I personally, I just think it, it's beautiful. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's a very beautiful friendship. If you watch us, like in our personal space, is very interesting. We are very funny together. Mm-hmm. We are. We have like good vibe around us, and then it's we have like a very good understanding that we really do not have to speak yeah. sometimes to understand whatever the other person is feeling or saying. So basically, if you had to do this again, like yeah. if you had to go back to the house, would you used to go together? Definitely. Now, who would like us? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I I don't know if you can remember. There was this time I I have the video. I don't know if you. Uh, yeah. There was no, there's was nothing over the top. Okay, but there was this time you guys were. You, I think Dami was saying talk about it, and Teresi was saying I'm not ready to talk about it. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, do you want to play? It? Uh. <laughs> let Let me remind you. Okay. So this this well, scene. You know that this is going to be a burden on me, and it's not nice. But that's fine. If that's what you want to do, and if you, I, I just feel like this is something we should talk about now, and I don't yes. know why you're like Dami. going past it Dami. or you trying to, to, so like, what are you trying to like um, postpone it for? I have, I have. What are you, reason. what are you postponing it for? <laughs> okay, so that was that was it. It was like you wanted to talk about something. Yes. You wanted. What, what, what was that about? Because okay. we were insinuating it was about something, but I wanted you to clarify. Okay, so um, it was the night of the morning after she had come to tell me she liked so far. So right! <laughs> that was what you wanted to know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go ahead. So um, it was the night of the morning she had told me that she, she liked so far and uh, she like wanted to confirm if there was like any feelings towards him from me and I told her no. So... Mm. Uh, after then she came to meet me again and said oh she wants to step back because of like some things and i'm like okay so i spoke to tj and tj like gave me some few advice and i was like do you know what just wait it out and everything so after speaking to tj was when i went to meet her i'm like dami do you trust me like i need you to trust me and i need you mm-hmm. to believe that anything i anytime i tell you that I do not have feelings for anybody or if I tell you something just take it mm. as it is I would never never hide my feelings mm. for or to you or for you mm. I'm going to tell you as it is like for every time we have a conversation so that was basically it and then she wanted to know why I was like yeah, telling so, her that yeah. yes but I didn't there was just a lot of pressure as at that time I didn't want to talk about it like I wanted to sleep out to sleep over it and just like reflect over the day because there's been a lot of a lot there's been a lot mm. of things going on that day a lot of back and forth I didn't want to like add that to the pressure of the but moment. did you have any sort of feelings it's feelings, is it early to say feelings? But did you like Tofa? Like Tofa was I okay. The thing is, I think I stated this. Maybe they didn't capture it, but yeah. I stated it that um, I knew Tofa before the house. I followed him on Instagram before the house, yeah. so I could resonate with with him anytime he was talking in the house because i'm like okay i get where you're coming from i saw the post i saw where you when you posted this well because i follow his post mm. he cracks me up on instagram so that was like it was just like i could resonate with him and conversations with him were like much easier than any other person so there was no feelings whatsoever mm. from my end okay but she, she you initially thought she liked too far right uh yeah that was that was what i thought initially so i mean we had the conversations and that went on and um she came back later tonight, the night, and mm. was, do you trust me? And I'm like, you know, when someone comes <laughs> yeah. up to you and like, do you trust me? And I'm like, what exactly is going on? I don't want to talk about it. I, I mean, won't you be curious? Of course. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah. that was, that and was I think it's a normal thing to do because you're, you're in the same pair. Exactly. Yes. It's like two babes in the same pair, like in the same guy. So I think it's normal to want to have, you know, a conversation. A conversation yeah. Yes. And we later did that night. So I didn't even sleep over it. I just like had a conversation with her like immediately. Okay. Yeah.